if you are a believer that all is one, nothing is lost, we're all in the cosmic collective consciousness web, then yeah, you don't really lose anybody. They just transition over to the other side. And so that's one of my personal beliefs. And <sighs> new voice message. Hey, Octavia, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, some other people that came in the room, the whole conversation, and the phone slid down. So, you know, I'm just returning the call. Thank you for the happy call today, wish, and I'll see you soon. To replay this message, press 1. I need to Google it because now the inside of my mouth is raw and it's bleeding. <laughs> like, are we just having a time? Like, what? <laughs> I feel like I'm even more sensitive to pain. Like, I'm just, I don't know. I don't know if this is a grieving process. I don't know if this is like what, but I just feel so, uh, I just feel raw. I feel like an open wound. <laughs> Yeah, I just I just feel like I'm bleeding internally. Like, is there like a like is there a is there a remedy for that? Showtime. It's game time, baby. <laughs> Why she hype? Why she hype? <laughs> mm -mm. Game time, baby. Showtime. Let's go. <laughs> what do she be on? She be hype. Productivity. <laughs> Is that what she? I need to make a disclaimer. Okay, first of all, we working on the painting. It's coming along. Okay. Yes. Grief is heavy. Grief is complicated. Part of me was like, girl, for real? <laughs> you, you trying to be productive right now? That's what, that's what you want to do? Yes. Because that's what like feeds my soul. Y'all, are we, are we going? Yeah, we going there. Why do you even be accent like? what you do you go there we welcome first of all if you are new boo welcome okay i'm irma tamer i'm a full-time artist working in seattle who is she <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't even know how to intro myself these days i honestly don't like yeah your girl doing morning routines now like <laughs> welcome okay welcome this is my art studio this is where i pee <laughs> this is where i paint create large-scale cosmic queens and all the wonderful things okay recently experienced a pretty heavy loss in my life i'm doing so much better i'm so grateful for my family i'm so grateful for andy i'm so grateful for all the work that i've done on myself like if you are not new here then you know i've been on the healing journey i stay on the healing journey <laughs> okay i'm constantly doing um internal work self-reflection journaling meditating yoga the whole vibe and it like really helps <laughs> you know like they say you should do that shit and it and it actually helps you know it it honestly does and it's helped me get control of my mind when times where i would just let heavy emotions completely consume me and i know that we have to feel our emotions it's important to feel them 
Um, but as somebody like, and I think like, let's go there. Like, let's, um, let's go to the next level with the conversation because I think these are the moments in life that um, asks us to go deeper with ourselves. As somebody who like identifies as a spirit being having a human experience, yeah, you know, we could say that. We could frolic around, you know, love and light, okay? We can say that, but when hard times come and when we lose loved ones in our lives, I think that's when those ideologies are really put to the test to be like, okay, well, if you, if you are a believer that all is one, nothing is lost, we're all in the cosmic collective consciousness web, then yeah, you don't really lose anybody. They just transition over to the other side. And so that's one of my personal beliefs. And I just rest in the knowing that of anything, I'm like mourning the living <coughs> more than the past over. You know what I mean? Like. It's, it's harder to live on this earth than, than it is to leave it. Yeah, yeah. I'm really grateful for peace. I'm really grateful. And there's a there's a scripture, one of the good books say, he will give you peace that surpasses all understanding, you know? And if you've been around for a long time, then you know that I don't really identify as a Christian, but there's just like universal principles in the Bible that really resonate with me. And when you have an understanding of our sort of source consciousness, when you connect to that ultimate truth, that gives you the peace that surpasses all understanding. You know, just realizing that beyond the veil, we are one, you know? And so, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I also allowed myself to have those emotions, you know, cause I think, cause we, I think we also talked about that. Maybe one of the videos, <laughs> let's not spiritually bypass, you know, let's, yeah, we here, but we also living in this 3D plane. So feel those emotions, feel that grief, feel that heaviness, um, but don't let it consume you. And I think it was it was getting a little concerning for me because y'all know I was already feeling annihilism. Okay, <laughs> I was already feeling like, <laughs> why? What are we doing here and why? <laughs> you know, so already feeling that heaviness, already feeling like I lost my drive, already feeling like, What's the point of this entire cosmic dream? It was heavy to experience that loss, but now I'm like, your girl is getting back. Like I just, for me, what helps me, one is like my spiritual routines, y'all. Like your girl gotta meditate, okay? I actually don't have to meditate. For me, movement is meditation. So it's like, I have to exercise. I have to move my body in some way, whether that's cardio, running, going to the gym, weight training, yoga. Like I have to, I have to move my body. Like I cannot, your girl cannot play. Okay, if I haven't moved my body in two days, I will be feeling like depressed as I don't know what. And I'm just like, <laughs> What's going on? And I'm like, girl, when's the last time you moved your body? And I'm like, oh, right. <sighs> get to moving, get to moving, you know? So definitely movement for me. Journaling, y'all know I love journaling. I love taking voice notes. My family too, like, oh, I'm just so grateful for Andy. He is such an incredible listener and a beautiful sounding board for me. Um, talking to my mom, talking to my family, like looking at old pictures, like really just knowing that there's no way out but through, like you, you, you have to go through it. You have to feel those emotions. Um, and so, yeah, I just, I've been on, on the journey of not trying to suppress anything and like really show up and really be present in it. And I think because I did give myself those days to just like cry and to just feel the pain, feel the shock, feel the internal turmoil that I was feeling, I think that it helped me move through it quicker actually you know and i think sometimes we're trying to like run from things we're trying to hide we're trying to be like nope i'm not about to think about it you know but what does help me is to keep going you know because it doesn't serve me to stay in those low places it genuinely doesn't and i also know like i genuinely know that my dad is at peace <laughs> like i feel that in my soul so much and so i'm like okay cool like girl he good like he 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 more than good. Okay, you don't want to steal down here fighting. Okay, <laughs> you don't want to try to make it down here. Okay, so what do you got to do? Implement your systems. Okay, making sure you're getting up, movement, have your breakfast, have your uh, journaling, have your reflection, do what you need to do, get get organized, get productive, and also get realistic. Like, girl, you need help. Okay, you need help. You you honestly do. Uh, 
just finished up the tours. Um, it went really great. I held it together. I'm like proud of myself. Um, just like awesome people came through. Shout out to Siobhan, uh, Peju, Phil, um, Paul. Yeah, oh, Paul came through. And, I'm all right, I'm all right. We hanging in here. I got help, okay? One, I got a new laptop. <laughs> Super excited about that. Y'all, don't sleep on Amazon refurbished uh, computers. You know, it'd be like a bad computer or something and then they fix it and they put it up on Amazon for like a discounted price. So yeah, your girl got a, a whole new laptop. That's part of the reason I've been cranking out a little bit more content. My computer is faster, it's better, it's so much more memory, so much more RAM. So I've been able to edit quicker. And also I've just, I've learned more about editing too. And yeah, it's just so much fun for me. The other help, Shannon, y'all, my VA, my virtual assistant, Shannon, she's coming back on the team. This was like a while ago. We had took a pause, like, y'all, just like going through transitions, right? Like I had took a break from YouTube, just took a, took a whole reset from a lot of different things. And so now I feel like I'm getting back to it. I'm getting back on, on my grind. And I was already sort of in this rev up phase and I didn't want to lose momentum because like momentum is so important and it's hard to like, get yourself back going you know so that's part of the reason that i'm still showing up in the midst of the grieving process and also like i'm okay you know what i mean i think like sometimes why i don't really like to <laughs> I, was about to I was about to say no it, it, it's real but yeah sometimes why i don't like to talk to people about it or share with people about it i feel like sometimes people are people almost like project their level of sadness onto you of how they think you supposed to feel you know and it's like i'm not here to perform grief for anybody i'm not here to be overly sad than what somebody think that I am, you know? I'm here to have my own experience of that. And like, yes, it's heavy. And yes, and yes, I've cried. Yes, I continue to cry every day, <laughs> you know? But I also know the power of not letting heavy emotions consume you because they can be very... Are we going there? Y'all had a dream. <laughs> I had a dream, <laughs> I have to tell you. <laughs> It has sriracha in it. Have y'all been hearing about the sriracha shortage? <laughs> what country are you in? Is it is it going on in your country too? Anywho, okay, so let me know if y'all can relate. Like, when you just, it almost just gets like harder to get up. It gets harder to show up. It gets harder to do what you need to do, you know? And this can be even more alarming when that's not your normal self. Like your normal self is having a productive week, getting it done, doing them emails, editing your videos, make, making your paintings, going to the grocery store, having a clean diet. Like if that's more of like who you are and then you feel yourself kind of slipping and you're like, man, it's just, I don't even have the drive to like do that shit no more, you know? That's what I was sort of entering and I was like, what's going on? Like this just feels weird, but I also wasn't fighting it. I was just, I wasn't resisting it. I was just like, hey, like whatever, you know? And so part of that first dream presented to me, like you can choose, right? That was that light worker versus hater ass bitch <laughs> video. This dream that I had, it revealed to me like, girl, sometimes you gotta fight, okay? Some Sometimes you gotta like get your ass up and get aggressive, okay? <laughs> y'all know I can clearly get aggressive. I'm not about to take this laying down, you know? Like I'm not, I'm not just about to let this take me out like this. And sure, it's important to feel the emotions. Sure, it's great to process. But then when you feel like you've reached a point where you ready to get up, but but you still can't because you've almost got into a pattern of sadness or a pattern of grief, of grief or a pattern of laziness or like just like whatever term you want to give it, it comes to a point where you got to sort of give it that like rev of energy where you got to you know, like, and so for me, my sort of like z -z 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 is pulling from that dark side. <laughs> okay, like a bitch will pull from the, she will pull from the dark side any day. She will David Goggins that bitch, okay? I love this. <laughs> 
Over the years, I've learned the power of feminine energy and masculine energy and how both of them are incredibly powerful tools that can aid you wherever you're trying to go, you know? Now, of course, it gets unbalanced when we talk about hustle culture versus soft life. And I mentioned before in one of the videos how I wanna have like a soul life, having, having something more balanced, you know? And so, yeah, no, like this this other dream that I had, y'all, it was like, girl, sometimes you gotta, you gotta fight, okay? You have to straight up fight and you're not about to take anything laying down. And y'all, I feel like the energies are about to get rocky, okay? It's it's about to get heavy <laughs> okay so we got two full moons going on in august so if y'all feeling no crazy energies that's why okay you are not alone in that process get ready prepare for it and that's kind of what the dream was okay let me tell y'all something about <laughs> Me and Andy, we were in this apartment. It was crazy. The apartment looked like my apartment from when I was a kid. And, okay, this was like in real life. Um, we had this apartment. We lived on the sixth floor of this apartment. And it's funny that, I, I, of course, I've been thinking about my dad more with everything going on. And he's afraid of heights, okay? He, he didn't like heights. And so this, when was it? So maybe I was like 10 or 11. This must have been like almost, maybe 99. <laughs> That my day myself. We were installing a satellite dish on our um, apartment. And so he actually asked me to help him install this satellite dish because he didn't like sort of leaning over and like looking at, cause like he was afraid we was way up on the thing. So I would like hold it and sort of like I was helping him screw it in and everything. Now this was in real life. Okay, now going back to the dream. In a dream, we were in that apartment where I was helping my dad install that satellite dish from my real life. But in a dream, it was me and Andy, we were in that apartment, we were up again on the sixth floor and like we had kids and it was like, it was like we, we had this whole family in this apartment complex, which was kind of like I was in a kid because our cousins were living with us at a time. So it was like seven of us in this two bedroom apartment, okay? Um, but anywho, back to dreams. Stop confusing the people. Like you confuse the waking life versus dream life. Is there much of a difference though? But that's a whole nother combo. Okay, so back to the trip. Me and Andy, we had a family, we had these kids, we were living in this apartment and it was like the purge, okay? I don't know if y'all seen the movie. There was like a movie called The Purge. Like it's just like a purge when they get like one day a year to like wreak havoc, okay? So in the dream, we had our family in, the, in this apartment and the sort of purge was coming up. Like we knew the purge was coming. We knew shit was about to get crazy. Everybody was pretty much getting ready. Okay, like it was about to be crazy. We knew these like monsters was coming and we had to, but they were coming to like steal stuff, like steal your goods in the house, steal steal your joy maybe. Ooh, <laughs> steal, steal your joy, steal your peace, joy, steal your happiness, okay? They was coming to like steal stuff from your house. So some of our neighbors was just like, hey, you know, this is this that time of year. That's when they do it. They was like, they weren't really even doing anything to prep, you know, but like me and Andy, we was like, uh-uh. <laughs> okay. We like strapped up everything. We like hid it, put it in, like put it in suitcases, put stuff in, in the back room, okay? Then we had went in one of the back rooms and was like hiding down with the kids. We was like getting ready because all these dang old monsters was about to crawl up the side of the wall to get on our patio ledge to um, st like steal stuff, steal stuff, harm us. I don't know. That's just like what the energy sort of felt like. So we sort of dug down waiting for them to come in, you know, and you know, just sort of like prepping, getting ready. I was like, uh-uh, we about to fight back, you know, so I, I I grabbed these glass bottles, okay? Banged one of the glass bottles on the edge. Sure, I said, "Come on, let's go!" Like, like you ain't. I'm not. I'm not about to take this shit laying down. <laughs> Your girl got aggressive, okay? Mind you, in real life, before we went to bed, me and he was watching. We was watching Jurassic World. Was it Jurassic? Like whatever. Jurassic Park number four. Okay, like whichever the one when they brought everybody back. You know the whole thing. So it was like all the monsters in that movie. All the monsters was in my dreams. That's why I told Andy I don't watch crazy shit before I'm about to go to sleep because it's gonna be my dream. Okay. All these monsters in my dream was crawling up the side of the walls, getting on our thing. Your girl had a glass bottle. Slice. Out. I said, get back, get back, get back. Y'all not about to get me. Get back. Okay fighting for her motherfucking life, okay? And so sometimes you gotta stand up to that. You gotta, you like, I'm not about to take this lane down, okay? <laughs> I should be getting bugged, okay? <laughs> Shut down, be coming out, Shut down. Anywho, so I said, I'm not, I'm not taking this lane down. So I'm slicing them right, they all up in the living room, they all in the bedroom, the kitchen, everything. I'm just like, going to town, I'm like, get back, 
get back, get back, get back, fight it, right? So then I go out to the patio where, like, where they sort of coming in. It kind of looked like World Z or something. Remember when all them zombies was crawling, crawling up the wall and was piling up? I had got on the patio, looked down, saw them all, like, crawling up the thing. I had two bottles of sriracha. <laughs> Two bottles of sriracha. I don't know where I. This is why I love dreams. Like dreams be so crazy. I had two bottles of sriracha in my head. I must have squirted all that sriracha in their eyeballs. And they was just like, ah, ready for the cry to like bleed it. You know? <laughs> Probably wouldn't bleed as clearly sriracha, but it was like sting it from the chili sauce. <laughs> this is the craziest <laughs> Would it pretty much let me know? Sometimes you gotta fight back. You can't, nah, uh-uh. You can't let them get you. <laughs> oh, Aramis, what are you, nah, y'all for real? Like it's, it's y'all, it is, it is layers to these dimensions. about this painting <laughs> she working on something don't be looking at it it's a work in progress <laughs> okay got back from chicago went to the funeral ceremony for my dad i'm feeling better i'm feeling good um good feels like a weird word like i don't know if good is the right word but it's just the only word that kind of makes sense right now i guess <laughs> like, i like I, I don't feel i don't feel bad i, I don't feel terrible i don't feel uh sad as much anymore like it's complicated like how long is this video like whatever like, i don't know if y'all want to hear all that okay and did she put like overcoming grief in the title like i don't even we're not overcoming nothing okay like, look okay she needs to say something for this title okay um but yeah no hopefully like earlier in the video i've explained the reality i think like when i first when i started this video like she was ready <laughs> okay shots fired okay she was she was ready guns blazing it honestly ebbs and flows and and that's gonna be what it's gonna be and also like in addition to just like my dad passing i just feel like something is shifting and i can't really articulate it um i've been feeling really good about the channel i feel like i've been shifting the content a little bit like y'all have been very receptive to that and i really appreciate y'all for being here really like giving y'all feedback i talked a lot more on why i'm making some changes and like sort of my whole thought process behind that on my second channel the gemini diary so um yeah i've been i've been chatting over there with y'all too okay so it's like if you really want like a long chat with me that's definitely the place to do it i'm sort of using it more like a podcast where i can talk and just talk at length because clearly i can but i'm just at this point y'all where i've just i've cut out a lot i've cut out a lot and i'm not sorry about that i'm honestly not sorry about that of anything i'm proud of myself and i also feel like man girl did it have to take like why does it have to like why does why do we gotta be like this you know like, why do we gotta be for people leaving your life in order for you to feel comfortable even speaking your truth you know because i think what is just what I am grateful for around these times is like people give you so much grace. People are like, oh, like no worries. If you late with the emails or responding or like doing like whatever, you know, once you do explain to people what's going on, they're like, oh my God, like take whatever time you need. Like everybody has just been really kind and really sweet, you know? But I also like, there was like a feeling that I had, even as I was like making phone calls, sending text messages, writing emails, just like saying no to different things. There was a level of empowerment that came from it because I just genuinely didn't even have, I just, I just didn't even have the bandwidth to go on a mental excursion about, oh, are they gonna think that I'm being flaky or oh, how are they gonna feel? It was just like, you're the last thing on my mind right now. <laughs> like, I, I kind of don't care at this moment. Like I'm trying to, I'm like trying to work on me, you know? And part of me wants that to be a continuous part of my journey. I want to be able to set those boundaries before I'm forced to set those boundaries, you know? You know, like we'll be like pushing ourselves so much and like going so hard and then, you know, when you kind of like forced to take a break or you forced to do whatever, it's like, yeah, let's, let's just do it before we're forced, you know? Like speak your truth. <laughs> 
before you're forced, you know? Because the other thing is like, I was still showing up in other places, even though I was going through different things. Like clear, I was still showing up here on YouTube. Like a lot of y'all probably didn't even know, you know? And um, it was, I was kind of intentional in that. Like I just, part of me, like I really like that YouTube is a little bit more stuff that's in the future like this is the first video that i'm recording that is as close to present day like i think y'all are gonna get this video maybe like three days after i'm recording it okay look hold me to it okay what's today today's august 9th that's literally when i'm recording this just got back from chicago just talked to different people just uploaded the lock journey video like yeah like this is this is in real time okay everything else before that was like weeks ago and some some of it even months ago like some of it was from june when i was taking my break i was just batch recording and i was telling the patrons that like i'm really grateful that i was just kept recording and just had that content because i was able to still show up here on youtube even though i wasn't emotionally there to show up on camera and give like the vibes and give the energy but like that sort of snapshot in time in june when i was able to do that that's what i was able to present and package to y'all you know so so this is like the present day me okay this is this is this is the present day me this is what i'm going through right now this is what i'm feeling like right now and yeah i'm just i'm just i'm just doubling down i'm doubling down on all my routines all my practices all of my rituals that have kept me grounded because they've really been the guiding force for me on this journey oh but what i was saying about like i had i still have been showing up in other ways i have been showing up in ways where i wanted to show up i wanted to show up here on youtube like i, I wanted to edit the videos like i it's I say it all the time, like I genuinely enjoy editing. Like it's probably clear about my videos. I, pro I probably spend too much time editing. Like I need to, I'd be like, girl, reel it, reel it in. Like you, this, this, you just spent 30 minutes on this, on this effect that's gonna be up for two seconds. Like don't, don't waste your time like that, <laughs> you know? But it's, it's genuinely fun for me. And so, you know, I was still showing up in other places where I felt that I just really wanted to be, you know? And that's here, that's here on YouTube. Other stuff that I didn't want to do, I was just like, yeah, like I just can't. You know, like when it just takes so much energy, it takes so much effort sometimes to just like, to just like do things that you don't want to do. And if anything, that's even more clear to me, like, girl, that's not what you should be doing. Like if it, if it, ta if it takes that much out of you, you know, like you want to, you want to live in the flow, live in the flow where there's like a lightness to it, like where there's like genuine joy to what you're doing, you know? And yeah, and I genuinely feel like that energy radiates throughout my YouTube videos. I'm here, y'all, I'm here and I'm here to stay and I'm just getting clear on like where I'm shifting my energy, you know? And I talked about gaining that clarity and um, this is weird. Is that what's going on? Is that what's going on? Part of me, I'm like, am I self-sabotaging? <laughs> like, is this... That might need to be a whole nother conversation. Yeah, but we working on it, okay? We working on it day by day. And um, the people who's really helped me do that is my patrons, y'all. That's something that you would like to contribute to. If you feel like $4 isn't too much, I would appreciate you, okay? Shout out to my patrons. Shout out to my crown patrons, okay? Love y'all so, 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 so much thank you for everything that you do and if you are um working on overcoming grief just know i am here with you boo i do not have the met the special recipe or the special sauce but i hope that this is letting you know that you are not alone on your journey and we're just gonna keep showing up keep thriving keep committed to our rituals and routines so that we can continue to keep on shining all right sending y'all all my love and all my light i'll see you next week peace out